Hello boys and girls. Today's topic is on the production of intracellular and extracellular enzyme. First, you need to know that enzyme is made up of protein. So where does this protein come from? Alright, look at the diagram. We start from number one. You can see the ribosome. The ribosome is the place where protein is synthesized. And then it'll go to the structure number two, that is rough endoplasmic reticulum. The protein that has been synthesized by the ribosome will enter the lumen of rough endoplasmic reticulum and will be transported through the rough endoplasmic reticulum. Structure number three is at the end of rough endoplasmic reticulum. So when the protein reaches the end of rough endoplasmic reticulum, the membrane of the rough endoplasmic reticulum will bud off and form what we call as transport vesicle. Then this transport vesicle, which contains protein, will move towards Golgi apparatus and then fuse with the membrane of Golgi apparatus. At the Golgi apparatus, protein is then modified into enzyme and it is sought and packed into secretory vesicle. Secretory vesicle will then bud off from the tip of Golgi apparatus. This secretory vesicle will move towards the plasma membrane and fuse with the plasma membrane to secrete out the enzyme. The process that I have just described to you is the production of extracellular enzyme. In the production of extracellular enzyme, protein is synthesized in a cell and the enzyme is secreted out to be used outside the cell. Example of extracellular enzyme is trypsin enzyme, whereby it is synthesized in the pancreatic cells and later it is secreted into duodenum to break down polypeptide. Intracellular enzyme is where the protein is also synthesized in a cell, but the enzyme is used also inside the cell. The example of intracellular enzyme is hexokinase enzyme, which is used in glycolysis process, that is the breakdown of glucose during cellular respiration. Assignment. Okay, for your assignment, check the assignment in the Google Sheet, of course, in your Google Classroom. Answer them straight away and submit your answers. All the best.